All right, so uh, just looking at here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, this is the same time I was doing the drive shaft loop. I also realized that I had to get the battery disconnect switch taken care of too as well because I had my switch inside the truck temporary uh, for now, but I just realized that I had to move the switch to the back the rear of the vehicle because as far as the NHRA rules if you relocate your battery you must put a switch in the back of the vehicle to uh, turn off the uh, engine in case there's a safety issue so like I said this was just a temporary uh, hookup installation right here just so I can get the truck started and whatnot but this is it right here I'll be changing it out I'm not gonna use that same uh, off kill switch right there with that key style method I'm gonna get the metal one and basically I'm gonna end up putting it in the middle of the license plate there right in the back it because I didn't want to uh, drill the corners of the roll pan or anything like that so yeah I'm going to be doing this. Hopefully I can get it done by Friday when I go race. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the battery is mounted right there with that uh, battery. Um, it's not a box, but it's a battery mount. But it is bolted down uh, from the bottom side of the uh, battery there. All right, so I got the switch mounted up this morning. I didn't really take any pictures of each step of the way, but I mean, self-explanatory shows you right there with the switch right in the middle there. I got the switch in the back. I'll be adding more pictures, but basically just use a step drill to. Uh, All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, I know I need to paint the bed been slacking on that so just want to give you a recap on the uh, battery install all right all right so starting from the engine and I'll work my way back so Still need to rewire this and run it around the uh, fender wall here and down through the chassis. But anyways, basically how it's wired. So starter wire right here, runs it to the fender. Inside here, I have a uh, junction box right here that connects also to with the fuse box which is right here so with my junction box right here the starter comes in through here connects to the junction box the fuse box runs to the junction box as well and then with that runs in to the battery post all right from the battery post we're going to come out and it's running along the side there all the way back to the switch down here real quick which is right there so that's where that's running. This line right here runs all the way back to the alternator. Right there. All right. Get this 
door locked open. So basically we got um, the fuse box and the starter on one line, the alternator on its own line, and yep, that's about it. So this line goes to the passenger side, which uh, um, yeah so to coming coming back is again um red power line goes to the battery coming from the starter and the fuse box then it goes back out the black line to the one side of the switch the other line to the switch comes directly from the alternator that's that right there all right so that's pretty much it as far as the battery location i do have this right here connected to the block as a ground